Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team, and today I have some super exciting news. Zoho Bookings, which is one of our favorite Zoho apps, it streamlines a lot of our processes, has a new interface. They really simplified things, made it easy to use, made it way better looking, and I think it's really going to help adoption of the app. In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the new features, where to find some of the old features, and just some watch outs while you're in there. Some things have changed and, and you may trip up. So uh, enjoy the video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. We love chatting and feel free to join my office hours. There's a link below. That's a chance for you to come talk with me about bookings or any of the other Zoho apps. And it's a group setting so we can all learn from each other. See you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. Before I start, for those of you that don't know, and we have some other videos on this, Zoho Bookings is an application that allows you to streamline your calendar process. So you can integrate it with your Google Cal, your Outlook, a few other calendars they integrate with, and then you can be given a link and you can create certain services, right? So you can take that link, put it in your email signature or embed it on your website, and then clients can come click that link to meet with you. And it'll show your availability live from your Google or your Outlook calendar. And it kind of streamlines that process. You can even put paywalls so you can say, hey, if you want to meet with me, it's 10 bucks or a hundred bucks or whatever. So that's basically what Bookings is. And Bookings just released a, a facelift basically and there's a lot of enhancements that are really handy just for usability. So when you first log in here, first off, all of these have kind of changed. They've put everything at the top of the page here, made it very clean. They put integration tab, which is very handy. Up here, this used to be in the settings icon. So if I were to click integration now, you can see here are all the calendars you can integrate with and they're adding more all the time. Here's all the video conferencing. So you can auto, when a meeting is booked, you can auto create a meeting inside of Zoom or Zoho meeting or, or GoTo meeting, right? They also have payment providers you can integrate with to auto bill people when they have a meeting with you. Then they have an others tab. So Zapier is one of them, SMS magic. There's a bunch of different tools here that you can actually integrate with to either send a text message or send them into the CRM. Or one of the cool ones is Zapier. Zapier allows you to integrate with any or most applications on the web, right? And so it's a really handy tool. So this integrations tab has moved. It's much handier, much easier to find. That was feedback that Zoho was getting in us when we were setting it up. It was hard to find all of that. Probably the coolest part of this video is the way they've changed the list view. Calendar view has stayed basically the same. It'll show a calendar view. You can toggle between day, week, and month, right? And it'll show all of your appointments. But the list view is really cool. So when you go to the list view here, you can do a couple things. First off, you can, again, toggle day, week, month, very handy, but then you can customize it. So first off, you could choose filters here and you could say, okay, what do I wanna see? So one of the less than ideal ways of, of querying Zoho bookings in the past, to find your appointments for the day, it was a little, it could be easier. And so they've done a really good job of changing that. So you could select the workspace and you could select the consultation or the service, right? So for example, let's say you have a 15 minute call and a 30 minute call. You could come to your day and just choose 30 minute call. Boom, it would shrink it and just show you that, right? You could show all the ones that are attended or not. And so it really allows you to filter this very quickly. The other thing in the bottom left here, it'll show you all of your appointments. So it shows you a count. That's often a, uh, just down here. That's often something that's requested. How many meetings do I have today? Like just the number, right? And again, that will change as you change the filters. You have two 15 minute calls, two 30 minute calls, four calls total. In the top right, they have this little icon, which is really neat. You can, and this is in a lot of Zoho's other applications. So you can actually choose what to show here. Like for example, let's say you only have one workspace. You don't need to show the workspace in this view if you only have one, right? And so you can hit apply and now that'll come out of the view, you can create more real estate to show you other things. In the bottom right here, they added this estimated revenue. So if you are monetizing these meetings, if you're, I don't know, personal trainer or consultant, whatever, and you're billing people to show up to these meetings, it'll actually show you the estimated revenue based on how much people have paid. So that's a really neat feature too. So really at a bird's eye view, you can come into this view, see how much money you should make this week or today in this case, how many appointments you have, and you can query it to shrink it. And so that's a really big enhancement, just like ease of use, right? It, it was it was like this didn't exist. And there were a lot of things here that you could figure out, but you'd have to do a bit of work to get there. And so Zoho made it way easier. You can also export all of these, which is new. You can also add an appointment on the fly here, which is also really handy. 
Then along the top, they didn't change much of this, uh, but the idea here is in the past, this was all in the settings icon, right? And so now when you click on consultations, you can actually choose which ones you can adjust all the settings and I have other videos that go through that. None of that has changed, just where it is has changed. So it's much easier to find these now. You can create a new one on the fly. Consultant, same thing. My profile, same thing. So all of this was in the settings widget in the past and now it's along the top, which is much handier, just a nicer UI. In the settings widget, if you were to click that, there are still settings in there that you're gonna need to use. So for example, general, these are the basic settings of setting up your booking account, what your company name is, what the email is, do you want emails to go out to clients when they book a meeting, etc. The workspaces, this is kind of more of a macro setting so you can set up certain workspaces and the settings within them. And then customers are all the people that have booked time with you. And reports, this is a fun one that I, I think is really neat. It's kind of a new enhancement. And so you can go back here and you can actually choose a certain report type and you can choose based on status or appointment type, etc. You can choose workspace, you can choose a range and then hit apply and it'll actually show you probably no data in here, but it would actually show all of this in a visualization. You can save this report, export it, do what you want with it. And so if you're starting to get in the habit of running reports on revenue or reports on how many meetings you're having per day or per person per day, this is a really handy feature and they've separated it into the settings icon. So if I were to sum this up, Zoho made it much cleaner. They put all of the items that you need the most, for example, the calendar, the consultations, the integration at the forefront, you can find it much easier. They're rolling this out to everyone right now. It's a really nice enhancement. It's showing that Zoho really is invested in this product. They're putting a lot of time, effort, and R&D in here, and we're super excited to continue using it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're super excited about it. I'd love to see you in my office hours to chat, and uh, have a good one.